Hello, Hello, welcome to Unique Kitchen channel. Today we're gonna learn how to edit menu or add items in Zomato web dashboard. First of all, you need to log in Zomato in Google. Search Zomato, then you can show like this visible. At once, click on the Mato restaurant and then log in with your registered mobile number or registered email ID. You can have options. Here I am choosing registered mobile number. Once I have entered my registered mobile number, then I have to click on send one time password. You will receive a OTP for confirmation of verification of your outlet. Then enter your OTP in. Once it verified, it will be displayed like this. Then you have to skip this. Here you can see orders menu. And here you can see all offline. You can manage outlets from here. You can offline or online go from here and you can see here your registered details of your outlet owners. Then after click on menu icon, choose any one outlet if you have any multiple outlets. I am choosing one of my outlet. Then you can see here already listed menu items. From here you can add items. And you can choose veg or non veg tag also. I am here adding mutton biryani and entering price. Then you have to simply click on this plus icon. Once you press, it will interfere like this. Then you have also an option to add variants. Here I am changing this quarter to single, like this, simple way. I am here entering single. Once I have entered, you can see this. It's updated. You can add prices from here as well as. Once it's done, simply click on done and then go with OK. Let me recheck. Now you can see here. Variants are already added. And from here, you can also add on groups for your items. Example, right, right, the dips, and any other simple manner. From here, I can choose veg or non veg tag. I'm choosing non veg because it's mutton biryani. I'm choosing mutton and confirm. From here, you can see. You can add images from here. You can add images which are displayed in this picture only. There are some Zomato guidelines. You cannot upload any images from Google. It won't be accepted. From here you can mention your item description. So that would be better for customer to understand about the item I am mentioning mutton biryani served with raita salad etc so in this simple manner you can enter your item full description and you, here you can see serving info one person one or two person and here you can see portion of the item I am here choosing grams 600 grams simply mention your proteins of your items any nutrition value there is a category biryani I'm choosing and you can simply choose any cool drink you are offering to customer and simply tag chip special business type and spice level 
and we are choosing medium spicy so once we check and submit changes yes i confirm then it will add it to your previous menu once it has been added it will take 24 hours to review and display to customer from here you can add add-ons also and we are creating a one add-on group I'm creating divs add simply click on add then you have to enter minimum add-ons to customers can choose and maximum and we are entering maximum file from here you can add your items add-ons and we are adding ketchup sachet and choosing veg or non-veg veg and I am here entering price once submitted you have to map the items from here you can simply add your dips to existing items you can choose individually or whole category by simply clicking on the tab then confirm once verify or review dips are added to items and then confirm then it will be added from here you can add packaging charges subcategories add-ons and here delivery charges if you are self delivery outlet means you can add your delivery charges from this tab and simply by clicking help you can see various queries so thank you thanks for watching subscribe for more unique kitchens